Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Sid, a.k.a. Vicious274, coming at you with another review from my good buddy at Ninja Fingerboards. That's one of his stickers there. Um, I got a little uh, note here from him. It says, Ninja Fingerboards has been around since 2009. Our goal is to provide fingerboarders like you with the best quality decks, ramps, extras, and more. Ninja FB. And the website is www.ninjafingerboards.webs.com. Guys, take a look at it right there. Ninjafingerboards.webs.com. I'll also have the information down here on the bottom. They're also a distributor. Um, and the another company that they're distributing for right now is Casey's Ramps, which I'm going to show you as well. But the first thing I want to show you was some of the extras that he sent me. Just a little pack of pivot cups. And uh, two of his little Ninja Fingerboarder stickers. Okay, the first obstacle I want to show you is by Ninja Fingerboards. It is their mini bench. Now, when I saw this mini bench in the photos, I didn't think it was going to be that great. But once I saw it in person, this little thing is pretty sick. If you look at it here, it's got a nice, smooth, rounded edge here. And then it has like a squared edge on this side. So you got a nice little smooth rounded and you got your square. Now I put non-sliders on the bottom. This one didn't come with non-sliders because these um, priority mail stickers, they um, they don't really stick too well. So, but most obstacles you have to put non-sliders on it anyways. So, but the thing that I really liked it is that it's, it's small, it's actually portable. You could pretty much take this wherever you go. I could put this in my pocket and it can come with me. If you have a knapsack, throw it in the back. You go to a park and you want to sesh it, you have an obstacle ready to go. The best part of it all though, it's only $5. So, if you want to get an obstacle and you can't really spend m as much money as these other companies charge, which can be pretty expensive, and you want to get something pretty decent to sesh on, $5 mini bench at ninjafingerboards.webs.com. My only recommendation about this bench is uh, I'm not sure what the deal with putting priority post stickers on it. What I would recommend is actually taking your stickers, your Ninja FBs, and putting them along the base and around the sides. Because this way, anybody who sees this, this product will know it's a Ninja Fingerboards obstacle. That's just my suggestion. But ultimately... Great little mini bench to sesh on, nice and smooth, doesn't need wax at all. So um, go pickers up, five bucks. I'll put the information again down here. Now the other company that they distribute for is KC Ramps, and I got their box. Now they distribute, he has uh, all sorts of different other obstacles. He's got a picnic table, pull bank, the box, um, and I think there's another one that I can't remember right now. But go check out the website, I'll have it down here. Now this is um, it has a flat coping area, and then it has a rounded coping area. This is all metal, and this is all wood. Now it already came equipped with non-sliders, so you don't have to worry about that. It's also got some cool little stickers on here, Casey's ramps. Um, another thing, if you want to get an obstacle but don't have that much money to spend, this one was only $8.00. And it's a it's a decent size. If I if I grab a deck from here somewhere, it's about one, two. It's about three decks, three decks long. It's pretty decent. Um, my only recommendation about uh, Casey's ramps in regards to this box, the round coping is perfect, nice and smooth. Both sides are actually nice and smooth. But if you could to improve it, is make the flat coping flush with the um, with the board. This way you won't have to worry about your wheel getting caught if you're going to do like a kick flip off or something like that or if you go to land a trick and get caught it's, a, it's just a little better if it's flushed with the wood. Minor detail, not a big deal but again ultimately for those of you that can't spend that much money on your obstacles this one is only $8. Casey's Ramps. Now I also wanted to let you know that Ninja Fingerboards is also has decks, and right now they have their N4, 
available. I didn't get an N4, so I can't show you, but go check out the website. It is there. Another thing that I wanted to let you guys know in regards to how to purchase these products, um, Ninja FB does accept cash and mail because I know a lot of you out there don't have credit cards, don't, ha don't have the means to pay over the internet, so he does accept cash and mail, or he will have PayPal up and running very soon, if not already. So go check out ninjafingerboards.webs.com down here. Um, if PayPal's up and running, then you can pay PayPal. If you have to pay cash and mail, you're going to have to send him a message. Just click on Contact Us. Send him a message letting him know what you want to order, and then he'll give you the address on where to ship out the money. Once he gets the money, he'll ship out the products to you. All right, so there it is. You got Ninja Fingerboards products, and you got Casey's Ramps products. Very cheap, very nice product, uh, very nice obstacles. I'll be honest with you, I was really impressed with them. I didn't think they were going to be this good, but they are very good. So go check them out and keep fingerboarding. Two fingers, peace.